You know, did you know that everybody's is informed of some type of gun control? I'll explain next. Hey everybody, Lance here. You know, with all the shootings that's been going on recently, I decided to do some social commentary on the subject. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't really talk about the subject very often. Now, the reason why I bring this up today is because what's been going on. Now, we all know about the shootings in, down at uh, UC Santa Barbara and the one in Clearwater, Florida this morning. But I'm going to talk about why everybody is in some form of gun control. You're probably wondering, Lance, what are you talking about? There are people out there that don't want gun control at all. But let me explain something to you. Everyone is in favor of some type of gun control. And I'm going to give you some examples. Obviously, let's start with the obvious one, military weapons. Now, did you know that you can only get some weapons in the military? Now, I understand if you live off the base, you're allowed to have those weapons on your person. Okay, that's one thing. And I'm talking about, let's use, for example, rocket launchers. Now, obviously, they're illegal for an average citizen, for any citizen. Let me phrase that. You, tell, you are telling me that you feel that your rights are infringed and you should have any weapon you want? Ask yourself, do you really want a rocket launcher? Obviously, of course not. Why would you need one? Another way to look at it is... The incarcerated. Now, people that are in prison right now for gun-related crimes. Now, now, obviously, they're all over the place. And they're there for a reason. But also, ask yourself this general question. Let's say somebody went to jail for shooting multiple people. And let's say 10 years down the road, they're paroled for whatever reason. Do you really want that person to have a gun ever again? Let's be honest, you already know the answer is no. So why even say that he deserved to have a gun again? You know, the third one, obviously, is kids. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the record, I know kids right now that I feel safer with having a gun than an adult. Now, that's another story for another day. But do you want a three-year-old to have a gun? I know it sounds kind of crazy, but come on now. Use your head. Now, with those three I stated, if you don't agree with me, either, either you have no concept, concept of reality, you're totally avoiding the facts, or you're totally delusional. It's one of the three. Me, personally, I don't, I don't care if you want a gun. I've always been like that. But keep this in mind. You know, there are rules for a reason. And most people actually agree with me about that. So all in all, even if you totally state that you are against gun control, you are in some way, shape, or form. And as, th and as the rain come down right now, you know, I will also say, you know, Joe the plumber. The only reason I'm even talking about this is what he said. And he said, and I quote, Mr. Martinez and anyone calling for more restrictions on America's right to need to back off and stop playing to the hands of the folks who are merely capitalizing on these horrific events for their own p political ends. Really? Joe the Plumber? You had your 15 minutes of fame a long, long time ago. And you want to talk about political ends? I can go back to Gabriel Giffords. That alone, right there, saying people are using political pawns. Now, do I agree with Mr. Martinez? Actually, I do. Now, you put all the finger pointing, making political games, whatever you like. But, come on, Joe. You just made yourself like a total and complete tool. And that's pretty sad. Even though you, I think you were a tool to begin with anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the social commentary, and I thank you for watching.